<laughs> so here it says, dance and testify. Untie him that he may praise, celebrate, dance. Look at this, another whole thing. Look at what he came out bound, but as they loosed him, as they were pulling off, his hand was going up in a thank to Jesus and a praise God and a bless God. Ah, I was the lost, you know, we say it's not bad, but now I see got clapping in my head, running in my feet. I can smell the glory of fresh air, the glory of God all over me. I was bound, but now I am loose. So whatever hindered me came out with a praise, thanking God. Thank you, Jesus. So he went from there to there. <laughs> My God. Here's where I want to start moving toward the close. We got a problem. Mm -hmm. That's what I want to address. This whole situation is what I refer to as a misdiagnosis. Jesus said he's going to rise again. He told them earlier to the disciples that the sickness is not unto death, but that the glory of God may be revealed in the situation. That's glory that God is going to give. Constantly over. And yet you have men who, looking at things from the onset, draw various conclusions, end up misreading the situation, and then misdiagnose. Can I tell you a word? Yeah. That's what's wrong with you if you don't buy into what people say. Come on. They don't know the real story. Come on. Come on. So still you let people put all of their jump on you by what ain't gonna happen for your life. Mm. Understand, until you know the full soul, yes, you're not qualified to tell me how this is gonna come out. Yes. So stop letting people yes. misdiagnose your situation. Yes. Right. Cause that's all it is. Yes. You don't know me. Yes. You don't know the God that I serve. Yes. You don't know my walk with God. Yes. Well, he may not have moved for you, but he's going to move for me. Yes. Oh, and for me in my house. Yes. 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 So people are constantly yes. misjudging situations based upon their experience or lack of. Yes. And you allow other people's misjudgment yes. to judge and diagnose you incorrectly. And sooner or later you buy into the notion. Jesus constantly said, this is to the glory of God. And yet we have all of this action going on, which is no more than a misdiagnosis. Mm -hmm. And a misdiagnosis, when it is done, leads to a cover-up. Because we don't ever want to admit that we were wrong. And then a cover-up leads to roadblocks because they got to prevent you from getting to the truth because my reputation is at stake. So it's not just a misdiagnosis. It's what we do after been, you've been misdiagnosed. We practice after of whether to come back and say, I just got it wrong. We intend rather than confessing the truth, we start to cover up our mistakes and then block everybody else from getting to the truth. i got a wife for you to Misdiagnosis leads to a cover up, mm. then roadblocks, which are the stone that people keep you from getting to the truth. Come on. I just want to tell you that everything that God promises, He's yes. going to do. Yes. Yes. I don't yes. care what man says. Amen. just been a misdiagnosis mm -hmm. on the part of people. Mm -hmm. Show you how it is. 
Now, two, two brief words. Apo actually means apart from. Telesco is a word for die, where we get the word necro, departing spirits, spirits of the dead. Necromancy is the practice of dealing with dead spirits, we call it necromancy or necromancy. To deal with this departed spirits, Telesco is that spirit of the death of that, that, that died. Apo is a prefix that qualifies it, that actually means apart from, like we say free means before, pro means for, after, so forth. That's a, that's a prefix word that qualifies the word. So it is the let's go die, and then apo is apart from. So the meaning of that, apo finesco, actually means a suspended state. Here is death, here is life, I ain't need either one. I'm in a suspended state. It's like when you go to hospital to have surgery and they put you on, you are unconscious to what's going on. The machine may be keeping you alive because it's doing the work. So you technically may not be dead or alive. They have you in a suspended state. That's April Benesco. What I'm trying to tell you is, People look at you and say, oh, it's over. No, you're just in an April Vanesco, a suspended state. Why? Because God knows until I put you to sleep, you ain't going to let me complete the surgery. But if you stay in the suspended state, I'm going to finish what I start. And when I wake you up, you're going to be healed. But if I keep you up, you're going to resist the technique and the process by which I'm going to heal you. Because sometimes even healing can be painful. So God got to then inoculate you to your own pain. Because pain frightens some people. And we will resist what God is doing because we are fearing the pain. So God suspends you for a moment. Come on now. Wow. Touch your neighbor and say, you ain't, you ain't dead. You ain't dead. Tell them it's not over. It's not over. I, know, I know it looks like you ain't moving. Ain't nothing going to happen. Yeah. You way past time here and there. Tell them, no, you, you just ain't going to let's go in a suspended state. Don't yeah. tell them, but when God wake you up. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Jesus. Yeah. Come on, tell them and say, when God wake you up. Oh, when God wakes you up. Oh, But you don't know the God that I serve. Thank you, Jesus. You're not under nothing. You're just in a suspended state. Here's two quick points. Lazarus represents people buried alive because other people mis misdiagnose their situation. Wow. Like people in ropes to bring you up. That's right. And that's what Lazarus represents. People that's been written up. Been buried alive. And there's still life in their body. That's number one. Number two, Lazarus also represents the attempt to conceal, cover, and block the truth and tragedy of misdiagnosis. Because rather than going on and confess that we had it wrong, we'll spend the rest of, some people will spend the rest of their lives trying to cover up a truth. Something that they know is true. So he represents the people that's been buried alive, but he also represents the people. The attempts to conceal and cover and block. The grave clothes was the cover. The cave was the concealed place. The stone was the roadblocks. All that do is say we misdiagnosed the situation, but instead they went through a process of covering, concealing, and then blocking. And call and commit another tragedy, which is designed all to keep the real truth from coming out. 
Say this to yourself. You're about the truth going to set you free. The truth set you free. King said the best one thunder dog going to come to the light. Amen. Yeah, that's right. No lie can be a forever. <laughs> Conceal or cover, mm -hmm. block, truth and treasure. And that's what people are doing. I'm going to say this in a moment. I got one or two other things, scriptures, and close. People can know that there is greatness in you. Mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. But they'll spend their lives mm -hmm. motivated by all kinds of spirits mm -hmm. to cover you, hinder you lock you, trip you up. Yeah. Right. And rather than, and, and, and sometimes when they're old and almost dead, they come back and say, well, you know, I really had a problem, but God forgive me, yeah, you almost you got one foot in the grave and now you're trying to make peace with yeah. me. When you done destroyed my life. Yeah. 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 Could have done that 40 years ago. Yeah. And I could, that would help me to reach my goal. Yeah. But you spent 30 years trying to cover me, conceal me, block me. Now before you die, you want to make peace with God. Now this is reality. This ain't for you. This is my story. I've had that done to me. On your deathbed, you said it for me. Come on, I just want to. Just talk to her. My sister went. She said, Well, James, you going? Uh, I said, No. <laughs> Not out of anger. <clears throat> I ain't going to be the one to help you to make peace. Mm. And you've been blocking me all my life, so you're going to your grave with the situation on, just as you. Come on, right. Right. right or wrong, that's right. what my story now. Yeah. So I'm like, uh, you're uncomfortable about how you die, and maybe you're going to hell for the shower. <laughs> <laughs> now that's my story. Now, <laughs> 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 that's 